Hey, I'm Dr. Morales and I wanted to make this quick video to give you several tips that you can do at home to stop an atrial fibrillation episode. If you're at home and you're getting the sudden onset of heart racing and significant episodes of atrial fibrillation, the last thing that you may want to do is actually go to an emergency room. Emergency rooms are expensive, several thousand dollars for a typical emergency room visit in the United States let alone to end up being admitted and put into the hospital. So if there are ways that you can manage it at home and potentially avoid that hospitalization or that ER visit, it could potentially save you time as well as a significant amount of money. So here is some ways that you could potentially reduce uh, or stop an AFib episode at home. Number one would be what's called vagal maneuvers. Vagal maneuvers are maneuvers that you can do to activate your vagus nerve, which comes out of your back and actually helps slow your heart rate down. There's a few ways that you can do this method. Uh, one of them would involve uh, holding your nose and trying to pop your ears, kind of like when you're coming off an airplane, you hold your breath and push out of your ears and try to, and try to do it as forceful as you can to try to uh, activate your vagus nerve or slow down your heart. Other one would be bearing down, similar to what you do when you have a bowel movement. You actually, again, would take a deep breath and try to push down on your on your stomach muscles, kind of like if you were uh, having a bowel movement in, in the bathroom and just kind of bear down for as long as you can and that would, might help slow down your heart rate as well. Third one is what's called a diver's reflex. This is, involves actually putting your face inside of either a bu bucket of cold water or a bowl with some ice and cold water. That severe cold uh, can, is what's called a diver's reflex and actually can activate your vagus nerve and potentially slow down your heart as well. So those are all vagal maneuvers which can help uh, activate your vagus nerve and help stop an atrial fibrillation episode potentially at home. Another thing that you can do is actually uh, breathing exercises similar to either yoga or very structured breathing exercise called payanamas where you actually are taking very long deep breaths or doing very relaxation based Yoga, yoga, which is actually what I teach also in the Take Control of Brain Fit program. I actually teach also these kind of very relaxation-based uh, yoga, uh, which can also help reduce uh, and stop episodes of atrial fibrillation. Uh, a third thing which can actually stop atrial episodes, which is something that, honestly, I don't understand how it works, but I've had countless patients tell me that they see that it works for them, would be exercise. And it's usually an aerobic type of exercise, like being on a treadmill or going up and down stairs or being on a stair climber or something that you have to be very careful if you do this while you're in AFib and you're having episodes, make sure you're doing it in a way that you can stop if you need to stop uh, suddenly. But exercise can be helpful for some people. And I remember some people who very predictably say they exercise and that AFib episode is, is gonna stop. The last thing would be to take extra medication. Now that's obviously something that you need to check with your doctor to see that it, that is safe for you to take extra medications when you get an episode of atrial fibrillation, but taking extra medications such as extra doses of metoprolol or other beta blockers, or in addition, some antiarrhythmic medications such as flecainide or sotalol is something that I frequently tell my patients that it's okay to take an extra dose if you get a bad episode can also be helpful to stop an AFib episode at home, but always talk with your doctor if that's something that is safe to do in your specific situation. However, although it's really great to manage these episodes at home and potentially stop and stay out of the hospital, you gotta know when you need to go to the hospital. And it's not always the heart rate that matters that causes you a, a need for urgent medical attention, but it's your symptoms. If you're having a significant AFib episode and you're feeling very dizzy, lightheaded, short of breath, having chest pain. These are all very significant symptoms and that's gonna require urgent medical attention in an emergency room uh, because that's where you can get intravenous medication that can work fairly quickly. Uh, so that's knowing when is urgent, when is it really necessary to go to the emergency room is also a very important thing to do. Now, with some of these at-home maneuvers, uh, especially when it comes to yoga, these are things that can help you reduce the amount of episodes that you're having and potentially stay out of the emergency room. And again, these are the things that I teach in the Take Control of AFib program, so which is structured to help you reduce symptoms of atrial fibrillation naturally, improve your symptoms, and potentially reduce hospitalization and emergency room visits, as well as the cost of doctor visits, emergency room visits as well. So right underneath this video, there's a link to go over to my sign-up page where you can see testimonials and sign up for the program. So go ahead and get started today.